updates from Russia. Uh, Tatiana Kukureva is joining us on the phone line. Uh, and Tatiana uh, works with Sputnik and she is uh, in, in, in Russia. She's, she's uh, the deputy chief of Sputnik International. Tatiana, good evening. Uh, looking at the videos, uh, most of which have been put out by the Russian media, this, uh, you know, by every estimate, is a huge escalation. Uh, let me start by asking you, how do you see Russia responding to this, Tatiana? First of all, um, first of all, let me just correct you a small second. I uh, have not worked with Sputnik for almost a year now, uh, but in the meantime, um, I see this, you know, this quite quite an audacious, audacious attack, um, attempted attack, um, as a um, as a clear provocation and a clear message that Ukraine wants to send to Moscow that it can technically reach the heart of Moscow. Um, now, we'll have to, unfortunately, wait and see uh, exactly what kind of retaliation the Russian side is, um, you know, is going to inflict upon Kiev. Um, but I'd say that, you know, hopefully that message, um, hopefully that message has, um, you know, sunk in and then, um, you know, the people that make decisions have, have gotten that message. But this, uh, I mean, you know, looking at, uh, you know, how, how daring this, uh, this attempt has been, by every estimate, uh, this is uh, something perhaps that Moscow uh, didn't expect, uh, one would say, even experts would say, for, for Ukraine to even try something like this uh, would be almost suicidal. And now that it has happened, uh, we are hearing that uh, Putin is safe. Uh, what is the latest on uh, uh, Putin's uh, whereabouts and how he's responding uh, to this, Tatiana? Well, look, first and, first and foremost, um, it, is, it is quite a daring attack. I'll give you that. And, uh, you know, uh, again, audacious is the word I would, I would use. Uh, but the point is, um, is that it did happen during the night. Um, so... Uh, obviously, you know, like for, for anybody who is in Russia and who, and I'm sure that, you know, Ukrainian military knows that as much as we do, that the president is not in the Kremlin during the night. So it is very much a message. Um, it is very much a message. But um, and again, you know, I'm hoping sincerely that the response is going to be um, adequate. And this is exactly what the president's spokesperson has said. He, Dmitry Peskov, said that Russia reserves the right to respond adequately uh, at the time it sees fit and in the manner it sees fit. Uh, so for that part, we'll have to wait and see. But I uh, do believe that that response will be exactly that, very corresponding to the, um, the attack itself. Thank you, Tatiana, for speaking to Republic TV. We will be in touch and uh, look forward to speaking to you once again. Uh, Tatiana Kokoreva, a Russian journalist, uh, joining us on the phone line there, saying that she expects Russia uh, to give a response, a befitting response uh, to...